Hi, we are the Emma Academics team and we are presenting the Ranger Drone project. Our aim is to use the new UAV technologies to offer new solutions and improve the services of the national parks. During the past few years, the poaching activity has increased to an alarming level around the world, from tigers of Thailand to elephants of Kenya. One of the most critical cases is the pursuit of the South African rhino, where every day three rhinos are hunted down for their horns. The 400 rangers of the Kruger Game Reserve can't handle the situation. It's not possible to control such a large and badly communicated area day and night. Our goal is to provide a new tool to the National Park staff, tractable and economic, that broadens the surveillance capacity. It's a fleet of autonomous UAVs equipped with cameras and sensors, which gives the rangers a bird's eye view and real-time information. The ground station is mobile and it's composed of just a laptop with its own GPS, a communication system and a set of batteries and replacements. The takeoff system consists of a catapult fed by the car's batteries. The drones use GSM telemetry with the 3G when they cover long distances. They constantly send their position and status. This way, all aircraft can communicate among themselves and with the main CPU that coordinates the mission. Previously, the Ranger may pick between two operations. The first one consists of a formation flight guarding the car's location. This allows a wider range of vision to the patrol. For the second, the areas to be explored can be selected and the drones are automatically distributed throughout the zone to perform a complete scan. In this mode, it's possible to quickly obtain a map of territories possibly under threat of hard access or a search and rescue emergency. Each drone is equipped with cameras, infrared sensors and high quality microphones. Through the embedded software, irregularities may be detected and if there is a suspicious signal, an alarm is sent to the ground station with position and photo. If there is a good signal, it's possible to stream a live video recording and, at night, infrared cameras are used. When the mission is over or the batteries are low, drones automatically return to the ground station's position. Once set in motion, these missions can last a long period of time and require only a small investment in maintenance. Also, they can be easily adapted to other kinds of missions. For instance, studying the fauna's behaviour, mapping the flora with different cameras or monitoring the risk of fires.